from DC, the studio who hides the heroes' faces in their intro because they're all about to get recast, comes a follow-up to their breakout hit, Shazam, where Shazam's greatest nemesis finally faces off against whoever these guys are in a film whose biggest selling point is the after credit scene. Whoa, The Rock is gonna fight Superman, he's gone. Black Adam. Slow down the old noggin for a superhero flick that asks nothing of its audience but to open up and say, Durr, where the themes never get deeper than talk versus punch. Fighting won't solve this. I disagree. Me too. Characters blurt out the backs of their own trading cards. The nanobots were injected into my bloodstream by this really messed up scientist who kidnapped me when I was 15. And you can feel the screenwriter writing, put something better here later than never going back for a second draft. Our mission is to protect global stability. We're here to restore peace to Kandak, and we will use force if necessary. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Exposit me, baby. Intergang has taken over Kandak for its precious Eternium. Now, Black Adam will come out of his cave to stop them. But this resurrected Middle Eastern savior is less Jesus and more Zeus Zeus. As Black Adam rises to the top of the DC Universe's hierarchy of power, totally a thing, and just keeps on rising. And rising. Until he's a video game character with infinite health and five stars on GTA. No point in fighting. We both know no one can stop me. Yeah, we know. Can we just end the movie then? Return to ancient times when the legend of Teth Adam began and meet a young boy destined to become the people's champion and perhaps someday deliver the people's elbow, uniting them all under the symbol of Rockefeller Records in a series of fake out flashbacks that are supposed to make you think this kid is young Black Adam. But the twist gets spoiled when they keep showing the rock right next to him. There. That's you, Dwayne. We can still tell it's you when you're facing away. No one else looks that much like a really buff hot dog. Fighting him is the Justice Society, repeatedly, until everyone gets bored with the idea. How long are we gonna keep doing this? They're a crack team of whoever Amanda Waller can get on the phone. There's Hawkman, a billionaire crime fighter that Bruce Wayne just kind of forgot about when he was putting the Justice League together. Dr. Fate, a mystic who gets all hot and bothered whenever he rubs the tip of his helmet. Adam Smasher, a bumbling oaf you bring along when you really need the locals to hate you. I am so sorry, was that expensive? But like his uncle says, hey, forget about it. And Maxine, a manic pixie dream tornado with all the powers and charm of a human vape. Meanwhile, among the mere mortals, there's Adriana. She can read. Men were given the gift of magic. God of gods, six immortal elders by name. This is the only path to life. This big guy, he can sing. Baby, come back! And Amon, he's so cool to the max, he has seven different skateboards. Meet this do-over of Freddie Freeman from Shazam with less charisma. Maybe clean up your outfit a little bit, get a cape, change your name. His name is, uh... Captain Sparkle Fingers. No, it's not. No, it's not! A kid who knows all the DC heroes, except Shazam. Nobody ever mentioned Shazam. Superman, Batman, Aquaman, you're way more stacked than any of them. And in the year of our lore, 2022, he's still doing the let's work on your catchphrase joke. Tell them the men in black sent you. Well, yes, but, but not to me. Say it to the bad guys. But before you zap them. Nailed it. And just in time for the 30 year anniversary of Terminator 2. But still, good job. And if you want to shine them on, it's... Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. So even though the hierarchy of the DC Universe has actually changed, sending The Rock into full-blown damage control mode. Our margins don't live and die by box office numbers. It has long, uh, um, 
with very long uh, tentacles. And most of the DCEU died on the way back to their home planet. Make room for a meat and potato story that gets the job done. A Pierce Brosnan who's only getting more easy on the eyes. And most importantly, it's got just enough PG-13 brutality to give grown men an alibi for watching a $400 million cartoon. See there, honey? Here at that other man's arm off. Only big boys are allowed to see that. Now let's go get you a video game on the way home. What do you say? Starring Dwayne the Kool-Aid Man Johnson. Oh yeah. Cash Money's Birdman. Gold Bond. Medicated Powers. Can Man. Halle Barely. Laura Soft. The anti anti hero. So wait, the hero? I root myself today to see if I still feel. And the Snyder Cuts. Adam ruins everything. All oh, right, the main villain. I remember literally nothing about him, and neither will you. <laughs> he did a sky beam. That's cute. T who you, yeah, bunny. I am Mighty Ray. Fear my eyeballs. The line from Taken. Davy, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. Autobots in trouble. Exploding planet.